Hi everyone! In today's video, I want to show you how to connect your Microsoft Office 365 account to your My Signature account and highlight all the benefits you can gain from this integration. First, let's open the integration section in your My Signature account. Click the Connect button for Microsoft 365 and follow a few simple steps to set up the integration. The first step is to set up the Microsoft Entra ID application. This will allow you to create signatures using employee information, saving time on further customization. Click Set Up Application. In the next window, log in to your Microsoft Office 365 admin account. This will allow the application to access your organization's information. In the next step, grant permission to read information about your users and groups. This will save you time when creating and deploying email signatures with just a few clicks. After logging in and granting permission, if everything is done correctly, your application status will change to Verified. Please click Next to proceed to the next step. In the following step, My Signature automatically matches your data from Microsoft Entra ID with the fields in your user profiles. You can adjust mapping now or later in the integration settings. Click Adjust Mapping. In the next window, check if the user profile fields are correctly matched with your organization's attributes. For example, the email signature field name should be matched with the display name. This helps save a lot of time when creating email signatures. Please save the mapping if everything looks good. In the final step, you need to install the Outlook add-in. The Outlook add-in automatically applies signatures to emails on Windows PCs, Macs, and Outlook web access. You can install it for your entire organization or specific groups. Finally, click Connect to finish the Microsoft Office 365 integration. It may take some time to activate. You'll receive an email notification when it's ready. So, after you've finished the integration, your next step is to import the users of your organization to My Signature. To do this, click on the Users icon on the left sidebar. Then, on the right side, find and click the Import Users button. In the window that appears, choose the group of users you want to import. The number of users you can import is limited by the number of user seats in your pricing plan. Please check the boxes for the groups of users you want to import, and you can also exclude some users from the group if needed. Choose the desired group and click Import. Importing users can take some time, so just sit back and relax while My Signature does the work for you. Now that your users' profiles are imported into My Signature, let's create a new segment and add your users to it. Users in the same segment will share the same email signature design. Click the Create a Segment button to start creating an email signature for this segment of users. You can create an email signature from scratch or choose from dozens of pre-designed professional email signatures. Simply click on any email signature template to start customizing it. You have a powerful tool for customizing email signature templates. You can add general and contact information to your signature, such as email, address, and phone number. Next, you can brand a signature template with a banner to increase visibility for your marketing campaigns. After that, you can proceed with social icons and rearrange their order. You can paste the links you have here. If you don't want, for example, X on the list, you can simply delete it. Next, there are some add-ons available. In this case, there is already an add-on, which is the disclaimer. Other options include sign-off, social links, video conference details, and more. Finally, the last tab is for design. The designs are still quite flexible, even after you choose a particular template. On this tab, you can set the general design style for your signature template, change the font, color of icons, and so on. Now we're ready to proceed with the image. Just click on the Upload Image icon, choose the file you want from your laptop, and you're ready to go with the image, which will also appear in the signature preview. When you finish creating an email signature, click Save Segment. This means you've created a signature for your segment. You can manage segments by creating new ones, deleting, or renaming them to align with your organization's departments. Now, let's go to your created segment and add users to the group. To do this, open the segment you created and click the Add Users button on the right sidebar. Select the users you want to add to the segment. These users will have the email signature template you created earlier. After this, 
the user profile information will be added to the email signature template. If everything looks good, you can deploy the email signatures and they will automatically be added to the user's Outlook email footers. Deployment can take some time and you'll receive a notification when it's done. I really hope this tutorial was super useful for you. If you run into any problems, please feel free to contact our support team.